Hello, I'm Maxine Ratty with Elite Traveller TV. Today I'm interviewing food critic Andy Haler at the Ledbury restaurant in London. Hi Andy, nice to meet you. Hi Maxine. Yeah. Um, so, there are thousands of restaurants in London. What sets the Ledbury apart? I think the Ledbury is just a particularly um, good restaurant uh, with, with a balance of, of um, very, very high, highly skilled cooking from Brett Graham uh, with a, a nicely relaxed atmosphere. So tell us about the first time you ate here. What were your first impressions? Well, it was quite a bold place to put a restaurant because <coughs> Labra Grove, um, when I came to London in the early 80s, was a kind of place where the Dobermans went round in pairs. Um, so it was a strange place in a way to put a, an ambitious restaurant. Certainly the area has become much better over the years, over time anyway. Um, but it's interesting that this is a restaurant where the cooking is clearly developed. It, it was clearly very successful, I mean, it got a Michelin star immediately, but it visibly got better over time as, as Brett, you know, who's a young chef, you know, basically you know, became more refined, you know, just got better. And it's now at a stage where it's extremely consistent, ingredient quality is, you know, very, very high, um, very skillful um, execution of the dishes quite a big waiting list I hear. It's probably the most difficult restaurant to get a reservation in London now, I would say. Um, it's, I mean, you know, these things are difficult to prove, but it, it's certainly an extremely popular restaurant. So there's probably hardly a restaurant in London that you can say is obviously better. He spends more effort than most getting good quality ingredients, for example, that the game here is particularly good. I think the menu is strikes a nice balance because it's, it's not sort of old-fashioned classical, but equally it's not wacky, ultra-modern, you know, potions and lotions cooking either. Um, so it sort of draws a nice balance between being modern in the sense of interesting dishes, but not modern in the sense of, you know, scaring the herd. Yeah, definitely. I mean, Mission Star restaurants, you know, are traditionally quite formal. Do you think this is a sign that things are changing? They were in the past. I think, um, I think the Michelin itself has changed a lot, actually, over the last, say, decade or so. Um, and you have, you know, three-star restaurants that are now much less so, in, in, for example, in Japan, there's a three-star restaurant in a car park. So I think they, they themselves have changed, actually. You know, it's supposed to be all about the food, and I think now it probably is. Uh, perhaps perhaps 20 years ago that wasn't true. Can you describe the atmosphere at the library, please? One of the things that's appealing about the library is that it's relatively you know, relaxed. It, it's formal service, I mean, there's tablecloths, and people top up your wine and so on. I mean, the room is fairly, it's quite sort of airy and light, and it feels quite casual, and you know, they manage to sort of keep that theme, so it's not, it's not too stuffy. The balance of the service and the, um, you know, goes, goes well with the style of food here. Uh, so the um, Elite Traveller Top 100 Restaurants in the World is coming up soon. Mm -hmm. um, where do you think the Ledbury will be placed this year? Well, that's not really for me to say because the, that list is driven quite heavily by customer feedback. But certainly from a personal perspective, the Ledbury is one of the most consistently good restaurants in the UK. Um, uh, so I, I, would, I would hope, I would imagine it would do quite well. Um, we'll obviously, in terms of exactly where it comes, we'll have to just wait and see um, what, the, what the paying customers actually say. Okay, great. We'll uh, see where it comes up then. Lovely to meet you, Andy. Thank you very much, Maxine. Thank you.